Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can create generic tests for our DVT model. So in this particular playlist that I have been creating on DVT, we have learned a lot of things. We have seen what is uh, what a typical DBT project structure looks like, how to create a DBT project, you know, how to create our staging, intermediate, and even our math models, how to implement test cases as well. We have seen all of this. We have seen how we can add, uh, you know, test cases using different modules like DBT expectations or DBT, uh, you know, uh, or DBT packages in general. We have also seen how we can implement custom test cases and now in today's video we are going to see generic test cases. So in case you have not watched my previous videos then in that case it will be very helpful if you watch all those DBT videos in sequence to understand DBT in depth end to end. So let's move ahead and before moving ahead, do I recommend all of you guys to connect with me on LinkedIn and as well as do subscribe to my channel in case you have not done so. So let's move ahead and I will go through the project that I have created. So this is pretty much the project that we have been working on. And if I go to the tests folder over here and if I go, go to test orders order dot SQL, this is nothing but this is the custom test case that we have implemented in our previous video. So in today's video, what we can do is we inside this test folder, we can create a generic folder. We can create a folder, add a new folder over here, name it as generic. And inside that generic, I can create my test primary key.sql file. So this is the one of the a uh, generic test case, right, which can be implemented on multiple columns. You can call it n number of times without any, you know, separate customization for different columns. You can uh, do that. So this is the sample test case. So if I open that, right, so this is the test case. This is the test that have been written. So we will go through it in this test primary key, right? Here, what we are trying to do, you will actually see here, we are providing a Jinja template over here. Now here we have a curly bracket, we have a percentage symbol and inside it, I am writing the test, the test that I have to actually uh, go ahead and implement. And then the name of my test case, which is the primary key right now, which is, you know, uh, a very generic test case. And then the, it will take input variables, which will be nothing but uh, model and the column name. So by default, any test case will run on a model and on a column. So it will take model and the column name. So in case your test case requires any additional parameters, it you can actually do that as well. So if I go ahead, this is the DBT documentation where they have mentioned everything in detail. Generic test with standard arguments. So right now what we are running is with the standard arguments is the model and the column name, right? And then with additional arguments. So if you see model, column name, and then you can have additional ar arguments as well based on your test cases. And similarly, you know, customizing DBT's built-in test, right? So unique, right? Unique is itself a uh, DBT's built-in test. You can customize that as well. So now if I go back here, what I'm trying to check is whether a particular column is a primary key or not. So here is the SQL that is written for it. So here I am putting a CTE function, a common table expression that will run in my database where my test case would run with validation as select column name as the primary key. This is the column name, which is nothing but the input parameter that will be passed and counting the occurrences of that particular primary key. So primary key is not supposed to occur more than once. So that is why here, I am saying that select star from validation where primary key is null and or occurrences is greater than one. So if occurrence is greater than one, then in that case, it is a failed test case. You have records, you have the count of records where uh, occurrence is greater than one, where the primary key value is occurring more than once and hence this test case will be called as failed. Now while writing it, remember that this is the ginger template, curly bracket and the percentage symbol. And to end the test case, you specifically need to put this particular syntax only, curly bracket, percentage symbol and the end test itself. Also, remember that whenever you have to refer any variable, it 
you have to refer it with two curly brackets inside two curly brackets so if you see here column name is nothing but it is a variable right a model is nothing but it is a variable which is passed to this particular uh, test and you are referring it over here using this two curly brackets so these are this is like one of the basic uh, test case now if i go to my model let's say if i go to my staging model if i go to my products.yaml so here you can see that we have uh, you know from our previous videos we have implemented the not null test case we have also implemented dbt expectations using the dbt expectations module also we have implemented the test case so what we can do is here in the product id i can simply say primary key right this is the only change that i can actually do and i can call my test case n number of times on my columns right because this products.yaml you know it is giving you the details of your model each and every column, what kind of test cases you are performing, what is the severity of the test case, everything can actually come over here itself. So this is nothing but this is my e-commerce product.yaml file where I have called my test case, right? My test case name is nothing but it is primary key, right? And this test case will be referred from my generic folder over here. I have to name my gen folder as generic over here. From here, if I'll mention the primary key test case over here, I can actually refer it like this and I can simply save and run. So using one single command itself, I can actually run my generic test case. So now if I say that, let me try to run my test case now. I will simply say dvt test minus s stage e-commerce product hit enter. So now we will see that our test case actually starts running. So you guys can also practice, you know, this particular project. You guys can actually even check the documentation for even more elaborate projects, uh, even more elaborate test cases as well. So now you can see the test cases, test, ca test case has run and you can also see that it says pass primary key stage e-commerce product ID. So it has actually passed the test case as well well so i hope you like this particular video you understood how we can implement our generic test case as well and how we can call it i hope you like this particular video do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel as well so thank you so much for being till here